Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça marche. You know, past week, um, the first week of Advent, we lit the candle of uh, uh, hope and we spoke about uh, uh, hope, uh, many stories that will encourage us in our faith and hope. And this week, the second week of Advent, uh, we are going to light the second candle. Uh, the name of the candle is peace. Peace. Yeah. Peace. So we are going to light the candle of peace and just share stories and thoughts about uh, uh, peace for this uh, second week of uh, Advent. Yeah. Okay. May I request Mike and Pat to light the. While speaking about peace, Christ is our peace. You know, when Jesus, after his resurrection, when he came to visit his, the apostles for the first time after the resurrection, he told them, peace be with you. Not one time or two times, but three times he said, peace be with you. Because sometimes uh, in our lives today, we all have lost our peace because of all the things that are happening around us. Health, politics, uh, economical crisis, there are so many things that are happening around us. Therefore, we are in dire need of peace today. So we have lit the uh, peace candle, hoping for uh, the peace of Christ to come into our lives. So I have a story about peace today. Do you like to hear? Yes, yes. I would. Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. There were two good friends. Uh, they were friends for uh, uh, about 40 years, over 40 years. They had uh, their children. They were all grown up. They left, uh, you know, searching for their own lives. And then uh, they both, their spouses, deceased. Now all that they have is each other, each other company. And uh, they both had their own farms, which they enjoyed doing their uh, work every day. And uh, one is Mike, the other one is Bob. Mike had many cattle, you know, uh, cows and bulls, uh, whereas um, Bob only had uh, uh, farms okay and they were very good friends they enjoyed each other's company and suddenly there came an argument between them and they broke into fight over a stray calf so this calf was found in Bob's land and Bob claimed that it was a stray one and uh, he wants to have it but Mike said, don't you realize the look of it? It has the same spots like my own uh, favorite cow. So that is mine. Okay. Then they both uh, got into argument and they got uh, frustrated and both left in uh, enmity. And they were not talking to each other for a, a week. And suddenly Bob went and dug a canal. In between Mike uh, and Bob's land so that canal divided both their land and then uh, the water from the river ran through the um, canal therefore now none of them were able to cross each other's place so Mike was very upset that Bob dug this canal and uh, made the ra a river run through that and uh, divided both of their land and that they do not have anything in common anymore. So Mike was very upset. And then one morning, 
uh, a young uh, carpenter girl uh, knocked at the door of uh, Mike asking for some uh, uh, job opportunities. She had her own tools and asked if any job was available. And then Mike thought for a while and said to her, you know what, I have been a very good friend with uh, the next door neighbor, that is Bob. We were very good friends for 40 years, but he claimed my calf as his own, and therefore we, bo we both got into fight, and we are not talking anymore. And adding to this, he made a, a canal in between our land that I cannot go anymore the other side. Therefore, I am very angry and upset with him, and I want you to build a big fence uh, near to the uh, near to the canal that I did not. I don't want to even look at him anymore. I don't want to even look at his face anymore. Look at his uh, land anymore. So I would like to uh, ask you to build um, eight feet height fence uh, 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 between our both lands. And then he gave all the lumber and uh, nails that are needed. And then he left to the town for uh, uh, groceries and uh, buying supplies. And he was going to come only in the evening. The young carpenter began her work and she completed her job. When Mike came in the evening, he pulled his truck into his uh, yard and saw something different than what he asked for. Instead of building a fence, she built a bridge. <laughs> she built a bridge over the canal. And Bob, who dug the canal, was watching all this. And as soon as he saw Mike coming towards the bridge, Bob uh, came running towards him with open arms, saying, Mike, you are a good man. I misunderstood you and I made a mistake against you. That calf is truly yours, okay? But I was jealous and wanted to have it. But you, are, you proved that you are a good man. You made a bridge and you always wanted to be in touch with me. That was not Mike's intention. But anyway, he appreciated the good work that was done by the carpenter. Therefore, uh, uh, the carpenter's bridge that brought them together. So uh, Mike looked at the carpenter and said, you know, I want you to stay here and I want to give you some more work. Then the carpenter said, no, I need to move on to other places to build many more bridges. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very, 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 very good. Very yeah. good. Uh, unless we build bridges to repair uh, uh, damage that we cause, nothing is resolved. Yeah. And sometimes, even like in the story, unintentionally, uh, by a, a, uh, uh, an outsider, to bring two people together where their stubbornness wouldn't allow them, just that, that act of love to build the bridge between the two opened up both their hearts. Wonderful. And the name of the bridge is Peace. And the name of the bridge is Peace. That's right. Yeah. And, That's and right. In the Christmas season, you have to do that. You have to try to bring the bridge of peace between you and others as and Christians. That's that, your duty. Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, that's right. And, and, and in the result of it, you'll have peace. Exactly. And you'll be happier. Yeah. It is possible that we can end up uh, in fight with our good neighbors, but if we keep on uh, fighting and uh, having grudges, holding grudges and resentment, we are only going to divide further and further. Right. But instead of uh, dividing further, if we uh, forgive and uh, uh, let go of our anger and resentment, we can build bridges, bridges of peace. I'm sure our parishioners uh, will gain from this story how important to build bridges uh, to bring peace among our broken relationships. 
uh, may God bless you and Thank have you a beautiful day. And you Thank too. You, Father. God bless you. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Thank you.